more I look at it, <laughs> the more I look at it, the f the more. <laughs> Dude, it looks so funny because it's just the, the top part of your face. <sighs> oh my god, I'm dead. All right, let me l let me fix. Welcome to podcast number 30 33, I think. If it's wrong, I'll correct it. Uh, today, we have two returning people, as always. We have Kana, Genazad, and then we have a new face. We have Ace Trainer. So as always, I'll let them introduce themselves real quick, and then uh, starting with Kana, and then we'll get started. All right, Kana, go. Hello, guys. It is your no longer Emperor only representative. I Wait, have... you hit legend? What? No, I didn't. Okay. No, uh, he oh, did. Not he's lying. only. I, I didn't. Li <laughs> oh my god! It's challenger actually right now. I actually didn't play enough to 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 call it anything else. But, but I am not a man of only one face now. I have I have many different ranks now, not only including champion. Bronze, ranks, silver, I'm... master. Oh my god! Whatever. But yes, I am. I am a an RTA addict, copium huffing. New, new awaiting fly, fly trip out, E seven player, here to give my thoughts on. Uh, nice. Cleave, hopefully. <laughs> uh huh. Thank you, uh, Ace Trainer. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ace Trainer. I also love RTA. Have a good amount of copium, right? I like goofing off in mid season with like certain Broly units like Spez and Dizzy, and. Uh, but I also like theory crafting a lot and tryharding a bit in RTA too. And it's a pleasure to be on this podcast. Thank you. And Genizad. Hey, I'm Genizad P. And uh, you've probably seen me somewhere around if you watch E7 Twitch because I'm always on. But I heckin' hate RTA. Let me just say that. <laughs> wow. And, but I still play that crap. All right. Every day. Well, during the actual season, right? But we got a big break. But uh, it's nice to be on again, and I, I really like talking to people about E7, right? Yeah, yeah. True. Wait, you hate RTA? Wait, didn't you play like mm -hmm. a million RTA games, though? Played like 3,000. Wait, you played 3,000? No, uh, maybe? That's pretty good. That's quite a bit. Last season. Dude, I hey, thought man, I played a lot. When you oh stream this game 11 hours a day, you got to play RTA at some point, and you're going to play a lot of RTA. Okay, that's true. All right, let's. Okay, oh, oh, I'm gonna start this off with something really random, but uh, yeah. Okay, anyways, this is super random. All right. that they what how do nope. Lucian wait I'm saying how that. Did, oh how is that possible oh i see i need to add audio to that anyways you, you guys talk about anyways yeah so uh like there was like i i saw that comment and my brain was like like how do you have that many molas without having spent them recently like Dude, yeah i don't know how 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 is that guys oh okay you know what all right i i may be in a different minority here okay i i have aether bulge and cat and people come into my chat and say this unit is is the light he has and his whole coaching staff come in yeah the <laughs> whole coaching staff do you, do you know all the useless units i have plus seven and plus 15 oh my god Ida, bbk acid oh my where where are all of my like I buy, I bought out almost every Mola pack that has ever come out, and I am at like a comfy zero, ninety nine percent. I have time. seen Kana, so like, the, he was almost convinced to pull for Spez and buy out all the Mystic packs <laughs> just because a couple people told him that yeah, Spez is good. And he was like, really? Should I buy it? And I was what? just wondering, like, where is his free will? What happened? Like, wait, what? Alarm, though. He almost. Yeah, he almost just like decided to pity Spez and stuff. Like it was insane. 
No, but seriously, I don't. I, that's that's troll as hell. There is not enough. Well, w like, I don't know. They say like you have enough molas for like one character to be like plus fifteen a month. Yeah. And to be fair, not every unit needs to be like plus fifteen, right? Like some units survive on like seven <clears throat> to like, you know, anywhere between like five and ten. But like the units that have come out recently, minus like maybe Rimuru, do not feel like those. Like, I feel like. I felt like when APOC got like re-released on Banner, plus 15 character, right? Milan, a plus 15, uh, plus 15 character. Ran mm. was not really a, like, he wasn't very cheap. He was like 10 to like 12, right? If you want to be able to kill with your S3, like, like whatever, get like the, um, what is it? The chance to apply a buff or something on S2, whatever his S2 was. And like all the damage, like, I don't know. That, that comment's recent, right, Gabe? That's not like an old no, comment. No, that was literally today's patch. Like to, I, I was, I went to look Psycho. for the screenshots for the podcast, right? And I saw that comment. I'm just like, Emilia, C Rem, Cesaria, Cesaria. Oh, the other one though, was I, I was there, wasn't I? They're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that, that was uh, that, that was just also on the official stream. I was just like, I saw that. I was just like, man, why you gotta roast my boy Mashu and New? Like, yeah, that was the official stream. That was all. You That's know, on the official I'm stream. just gonna say, okay, some of you guys might be YouTube frogs. And I'm just gonna say, YouTube frogs have some dumb motherfuckers in there. <laughs> They're some dumbass people, all right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen some dumb as hell comments and some dumb as hell things said on like uh, live stream stuff too, all right? There's some unbelievably stupid people hanging around there. And I'm not, that doesn't mean like if you're on YouTube, you're dumb, right? But look to your left or right, and there's probably someone there, okay? Yeah, I'm surprised you guys uh, go down to like the official live stream comment section and read. I do not, Wait. but that uh, sometimes that when pretty... I'm bored. I don't generally, <laughs> but but there's some people there. I don't, why did they call new and Mashu streamers too? Like what? <laughs> they're not even they're community managers. They like have to they have to explain the patch, right? They yeah. They want to give their ideas. It's not like of their. Well, I really shouldn't say like free will, but it's not like it's not like they're like trying to like comment on like everything and like part of it is like you know obviously hey, King, i'm a mod am i allowed to ban people <laughs> uh i mean yeah i mean <laughs> if you want okay <laughs> okay there we go wait why what, go. What, what happened what did i miss no that, that guy is a bitch uh he said a bunch of racist stuff in my chat and i permanently banned him and now he talks shit about me and other people's chats Oh, I see. Okay, well, yeah, you you have the power oh, for that. You go for that. There we go. Um, yeah. All right, easy. let's get started with the actual <laughs> topics. Okay. Okay. So we have, I uh, Aden Aden Adin. I don't know. However you guys pronounce it. Okay. And by the way, people that hit me with the, the nuts joke with this name, screw you all. Anyways, thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the skill kit. Let's talk about the skill kit here and uh, what you guys feel like. How is she? Because. You know, as a new MC, she ha she has a little bit of a new, interesting skill kit. Um, I mean, she mm. seems kind of like a nice character for newer players, but you only get her in episode four, right? Mm-hmm. So. It'll take a while she, to build up for that. Yeah, she's a uh, Leo thief, though. And that's great, right? Because apparently her stars are going to be increased, right? Wait, so, stars? Yeah, they're, they're oh, apparently she's gonna, get... she's gonna get star upgrades and element changes, right? Oh, I didn't wait, 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 I didn't know about the star upgrade. I, I knew about the element change. Whoa. I didn't. Re yeah, they kind of mentioned a little something about that. It's like maybe your stars will increase and stuff like that. Um, oh. So she should get better base stats, and she has Ar if she gets to become a five star, she'll have Arbiter Vildred base stats. That's really good. That's kind of, huh? That's kind of lit, actually. I I think the biggest thing I'm curious about is when she gets her element change and whatnot, right? Like, her, her normal skill kit, right? Skill 2, skill 3, don't look crazy or anything. Especially her skill 3 looks kind of more of like a PvE sort of thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So, sure. I'm actually kind of... Uh, I'm more interested in the fact that when her elements come in to play, like, is she going to get a new skill? Mm. That's, what, that's what I'm curious about, but that's, that, that's a bit, little bit more like... Thinking She's for the future, probably gonna get upgrades, right? It'd be kind of cool. Um, because I mean, other oh, otherwise, sorry, like she's kind of unusable for most people, right? Because by the time you're at episode four, dude, like how can you ever use that character? Yeah, it's, it's been so, so long at that point, right? Like, 
You, you can... I hope. Yeah, I hope she'll be like Adventure Ross, which is a really good character for all levels of player, you know? So I think a lot of people who, you know, aren't spending a ton of money and stuff, maybe don't have a ton of MLs, will get like a really solid good unit to have, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like, like right now her skill kit as it is, it's nothing like too insane. So like people, people don't need to rush to get her or anything, right? Um... But with that topic of the newer players coming up, I do kind of hope Smilegate finds a way to, like, accelerate, like, the first few chapters for people now. Mm. Like, uh, yeah. it's, like, That's some... a good idea. Because, like, okay, like, it's a lot of stuff, you know, it's a lot of rewards and stuff, but if you have to take the time to go through chapter one, two, three at this point, I feel like that might burn people out before they get into the actual game at this rate, if, you know. So... Yeah. yeah, talking about Adine's kit though, I feel like she takes a while to ramp up with the S3 into self attack buff, and you know the weakness shared I guess isn't uh, too big for PvP. Obviously. Mm -hmm. And then the S2 just unbuffable, less targets scaling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't imagine her outputting too much damage, even with an SC. I imagine she'll be more supportive. Yeah, yeah, three star stats and all that too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we would always have Raz as the spe uh, like main character. I didn't. I didn't until they brought it up. I didn't think we would actually get like a new main character kind of thing to follow along in the story. So yeah, it's a cool idea. But, I think. Um, I hope they do a good job with her because mm -hmm. she, you know what? She looks like a DPS unit too. Uh, <laughs> so true. She yes. gets upgraded. Yes. She's yes. looking kind of like a. You know, if they swap her skills around, maybe she gets some big upgrades, special change type thing. Maybe she could be kind of a cleavy kind of damage speed killer unit, you know? Oh, please, God. Yeah. Please. Mm. It's possible. Please. <laughs> Wait, Kana, I thought you stopped cleaving. Hell no. I, will I, never I don't know. Ask his coaches. They, they, might, they may have told no, you. No, no, <laughs> you no, 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 no. I am not stepping foot in Banshee ever again. I will use oh. what gear I have, and I'm going to race out of my mind. Okay, I like that. Hey. I like it. All right. So, I mean, kind of a quick topic, to be honest, I feel like, for this one, because her kit wasn't anything crazy. Um, mm. But, yeah. All right. Well, okay. What you, what you wanted to talk about, Genizad? For what? The Arky. Mercedes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's hear your thoughts on the art book. Art book and all that? Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about art book and then so, guild artifact. I was watching the live stream last night, and I really like getting special limited things and other things like that, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's cool, right? Especially merchandise for a game that I really like or just anything I really like. And so I wanted to get that limited art book. So I open up the website that from the link that they provide, and it's all in Korean. And I'm like, okay, well, this is a little rough, but I, I can, you know, have it auto-translate. So I have it auto-translate. Uh, it's a little bit weird, and I try to buy it. The site it explodes. It doesn't work. Right? Yeah. Everybody's trying to get that stuff at the same exact time. And I'm not able to get it in the end. Uh, and even if I had tried to get it, I didn't have an account. So I would have had to use the guest account thing, put in information, put in credit card, all that stuff with the thing in my uh, cart, and it doesn't save it for you if it's in your cart. So it's just a free-for-all of everyone putting their credit card info and all that stuff as fast as possible. <laughs> And oh, man. That, that's, that's kind of bad, I feel. Um, <laughs> even Mashu, so guess what? Mashu tried to get it. He couldn't get it. Because you know what? He was busy doing the live stream at the same time. So it, it kind of just felt like a really ill-timed thing. And only 250 of them are available. And I just didn't like how it was handled at all. And also, a lot of people say, dude, don't worry. It's going to come out on Amazon. Yeah, nine days after it's sold out, though. So that's not very helpful. The Amazon one, as far as I know, is the forty dollars. So it's the base yeah. version. You don't get the limited one. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I'm kind of surprised about this is like, and hopefully they take this as a starting point. But this is going to be a limited skin where not everyone will have this now, right? I'll be honest, right? Oh, the skins for any art book, though. Yeah, any art book. But that, that's the thing, right? Not everyone is gonna buy the art book. Not everyone will mm -hmm. be able to get the skin, right? In that case, kind of thing. Um, so. I kind of hope, and uh, one thing I want to talk like this is like kind of like refers to this, but like RTA ranking wise, I don't know arena, whatever Guild Wars, right? I think it would be nice if we got skins that are either a 
a different variation or a different, you know, um, has a little bit of different cosmetic with the same character skin in that as a reward. Because, ah, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like aesthetics, skins, people like it. But if you don't get it, not the end of the world kind of thing. But uh, I don't know. Anyways, that's totally, yeah. I, I do agree, though. It seemed a little hectic with the, with the skin there. I will say. Wait, so even um, if you buy the base version book, you will get the Mercedes skin? Mm hmm Is that it? Yes. Any of the art books comes with the Mercedes skin, but you only get the other stuff with the uh, premium one. Oh, mm. one last thing. Shipping costs an arm and a leg. To the U.S., people were paying like 60 bucks for a $70 art book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the things is... um, I heard was it apparently... Someone was trying to buy, I forgot what it was, like an $18 thing. And then it had like $60 shipping, $40 tax. And it's just like, <sighs> oh, are, wait, are you talking about the, the Arky hat and stuff? Like, the, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Like they try yeah, to, what, <laughs> I, I remember one of my friends was trying to get a hat and like a phone, like a phone case, right? Mm -hmm. The hat I think is like 30 or something bucks. And then the phone case is like 20. It came out to like almost $200. Yeah, to where he was. I was like, "Wow, two hundred dollars for a phone case and a hat! Like, wow, yeah, well, steal." Yeah, definitely yeah, not I... Smallgate's fault, but uh, it's just a little well, unfortunate yeah. that, like, I hopefully they'll be able to get a better method for like, which is like putting it out on Amazon or something. Like, if they start doing that, you know, if they have a better method for that, to like maybe get some product to the U.S. so it's easier to ship to different like overall over the world. Um, well, to be honest, yeah. I would almost argue that it is kind of Smallgate's fault for some of this stuff because I think they are working on trying to have some sort of like warehouse kind of stuff, like mm. for instance in the U.S. and maybe other places, right? Uh -huh. But until they do, like this entire art book thing was literally it, it was shafting every other region except for Korea. Realistically, mm. not just on shipping, but the time zone as well that it's happening a special limited thing the website was in oh Korean tr to start. true everything and, and the art books it's like oh choose the language you want well guess what the korean players also would have just been like oh the korean book sold out i'll just buy the english one then and so everything was kind of geared so that they could get as many as possible and every other region wouldn't that's kind of true timing wise stuff, like they could have been like 10 p.m in europe or something the art book's gonna come out for anyone who wants to get it 10 p.m in uh i don't know the u.s anyone can get it right mm. it, it's like they could have made it so that every region could have had a chance to get these art books they decided at like 3 a.m for the u.s for instance that's true to release this thing as a special limited thing that disappeared in like five minutes yeah and that's true the 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 reason thing i do call agree this tinfoil hat this is realistic like it they it's in favor of the korean audience whether they intended to or not that's just kind of how it is right mm. is it yeah, they yeah. just didn't consider the other regions and you know that's i'm not too broken up over that it's just like i hope they think about that in the future is all i think i, I think I understand what you're saying like bad planning with the yeah. release of that right yeah that's fair yeah, the, the planning just uh didn't quite pan out and i hope they just uh try and you know change stuff around a little bit yeah i guess i understand that okay fair enough all right Artifact. What do you guys feel about this? Bastion of Hope. It gives a lot of F-Res. It's a lot. I think F-10 is really on her last legs, man. <laughs> oh, oh, my. The past two artifacts have oh, just been to counter F-10, right? Holy shit. Oh, my God. Dude, ML Ricky yeah. came out. Oh, my. Okay, they need to never make another cleanser unit ever again. They're all competing <laughs> with each other, this and some are so literally just dumb, better than dude. others. Like, yes. dude, why would you ever use DJ Basar when there's like three cleansers that are literally just him but better at this point? Yeah. Like, they need a, and they Wait, need a what stop. are the other two that are better? Okay, so Emil Kowarik have... and made Chloe shit all over him. Okay, yeah, and then... Okay, I don't know about a third. One. Maybe not a third. Okay. But <laughs> I think two is enough to come... They're all ml 5s <laughs> All three of them are level fives. So they're all competing with each other. I, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's. I don't uh, like. I'll go for it. Yeah, sorry. I was just gonna say I don't like how ML Kaurik just completely bypasses the Fres substat. I know <laughs> yes. Fres. That That's is the kind best of a way joke to, and... to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's man, like... but it like. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, no it's, you you go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> oh my god. Man, we're all too polite. I was just gonna say, like, the f res substat is obviously unfavored because of how the formula works, but having an artifact just uh, giving 70 Crap free work. res, and then, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know how they're gonna be able to create other cleansers in the future. At the same time, I feel like F-Res also, the value of F-Res is not nearly that great sometimes in uh, certain situations. So I'm kind of also on the fence about this, like on how useful it will be in that aspect. And certain units will help. Well, certain units can probably use this, but kind of niche, I feel like sometimes. It'll be nice on some people, I mm -hmm. think. Just like mostly cleanser people, because, you know, let's say you have Angel of Light Angelica and you have like 250 effectiveness or something. Well, with this artifact, somebody could get to, you know, 320 effect resist or something on a cleanser, potentially, any, right? Any Christy, any Christy builders? Do we... Remember when that unit was supposed to kill all the uh, <laughs> effectiveness units? There's a few people who were really uh, happy about Christy. They built them, and then I, I never. Never saw heard about it oh, again. Oh yeah, and I bet when they did the recall for her, she's currently like <laughs> looking level one right now. <laughs> yeah, do you guys think this actually fixes the F versus F res problem? Because if we look at Curse Compass, that's still in favor of F, right? Or well, what do you guys think? here's the thing. I think they're it's kind of muddled. Where sometimes it feels like effectiveness sucks versus stuff you know like Emil Coeric, right? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it feels like it feels like the other way around and it's like, oh, effectiveness is way too strong compared to f -res. You can't resist the thing. But then sometimes it's like, oh, I just have guide to a decision, so it doesn't matter. Or, oh, I have ML Coeric, so it didn't matter. All I'm saying is that the second that they release a two-turn silence or like two-turn <laughs> stun character, game's over, man. The second that ML Wanda can't cleanse it. Wanda? Yeah, Wanda uh, has two turn stun. Wanda broken? Oh, Question mark? AoE two turn stun. AoE two turn stun. Wait, bro who? Roman? <laughs> no, oh, no, wait. no. This bro. is what I was using in RTA in the final days. You pick Angel of Light. They pick Emil Kowaric. You pick Lilius. I have book on my uh, Angel of Light, so I'd strip immunity or whatever off their team and disable them, and then I'd soul burn S2 the Emil Kowaric, and then he would do nothing and they would lose. Wait, 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 did you, wait, did, did Kat talk to you about this, Jenna? How, like, no, I, ML... I, was, I was just spamming this, <laughs> no, dude. It was actually no, not this, so not well. this, but how, oh. like, AOL wasn't, like, AOL isn't, like, a, uh, or doesn't get countered by, um, by ML Ricky. Yeah. Because you can, because if you're, like, really slow, he just has a wasted turn. He's, like, like, I, I don't know if some people saw it, but, like, some people have, M, like ML Cowric at like 260, 270, 280. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, there yeah. were people mm -hmm. that, were, that were building their AOLs at 240, so he would cleanse and it would get stripped and it was it was over. And I was yeah. like, oh, well. He's not an Angel it's of Light like... counter because she can also S3 oh. faster than he can, generally. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But oh. he is really strong versus a lot of other stuff. People yeah, are looking yeah, yeah, for yeah. any excuse they can to pick him. He's like so good right now. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with immunity and attack buff. Yeah. Well, I say too, like, man, did... Oh, Jenna, you didn't play, but I don't know if you saw it, Ace. On the last day, everyone's Maid Chloe was on guide. Yes. Yeah. Every single I mean, Maid Chloe I think even guide. after the first... Even before the first day, I started seeing more and more people shifting to guide oh, on Maid God. Just to, like... like ugh. Yeah. I, I think I may have seen some of that. I, I was watching a YD stream on the last day because I was like at the airport and I was like, oh shit, he's streaming. Like, sick. I was just like watching for like an hour and a half, right? And I think I saw a lot of made Chloe's on that kind of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Oh, uh, cheesers, man. Uh... All right. Let's go to, uh, I, I guess it's probably, okay, to me, it's more exciting. One of the more exciting things coming out is, wait, is Pilus, Pilus, Pilus? I think Anyways. in Korean they say like Pilus or something, but oh. I, I say like Pilus. Yeah, I, I just call her Pilus. So, but anyways, yeah. So she's coming out. Um, her skills look pretty good, actually. Yeah. What do you guys feel um, like? I, I will be the advocate for all the cleavers. If you're a cleaver, you must bet. You must build this character. Mark my word. This uh, this unit will actually warp. Connor like, right now is telling so me that this like. 500 this, damage dealing units going to be in his cleave it, it doesn't no 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 no. we don't need listen listen in place of the fcc slot this unit will save us i swear to god we are Keep no longer hit okay 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 hear me out hear me out 
A lot of Cleves, uh, right? I hear okay, that. Which one of your coaches is tell telling you? That? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing, nothing, Have you spoken okay, okay. to your team yet? Okay, okay. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. So there are times, or there are a lot of Cleavers right now that live and die by FCC, unless if she's like banned or something. But if FCC is on the enemy team, you're kind of screwed. Like you have to change the you have to change the cleave up a little bit. Like if you want to do Charles, if you want to do someone like Rimuru cleave, whatever. So me trying to use like you know another mitigator in my cleave right just so i don't get one shot by like rem or bellion or something on on like the on the pushback i was thinking like oh god cr min crap but these are all bad but pillis but pillis reduce 30 percent damage from counter attack now i can ran s3 in peace hopefully 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 or it sounds Charles like s3. Hopefully. except you now hopefully. have just lost a fourth of your team uh i mean it was gonna you were gonna what you're gonna have cr min anyways right or you were gonna have like a, in like cleave? a, a mitigation yeah, like if you're running like closer or something, you do need like most a people mitigator. don't do that now. They they run the uh like a Ravi Violet first pick, you know. A well, a Ravi like first still... pick is like the most a Ravi Rimuru first picks are the most popular cleave ones I've seen. It's but pretty you don't versatile, have, like, yeah. I don't know. I I feel like usually if you don't have mid and like well, I guess it's different for a Ravi. But like whenever I was using closer, I was like, oh well, this guy is going to die, like <laughs> really die. I don't I, think I don't that she's going to be in Cleave, dude. But all right, so here's the she's really well designed. Wow, Kana will cool. try it out, and yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, 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 we'll we'll yeah, see where he Kana gets. Kana tries out a lot of things. True, 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 true. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember the days when uh he he said Mort was OP. I did not ever say that. <laughs> well, Mort stole his heart. That's all oh. I know. Oh my oh god. my god! Did anyone see? Yo, who has a screenshot of him kissing Mort in oh, uh in, in the E7 anniversary thing? Yeah, yo. Yeah, someone you know give me that crazy? image. What What's crazy is that there are apparently like people that have like tweet like that tweeted about it. What? But they didn't like. Yeah, they like just didn't tell me. So like someone in my chat in my in my Discord was like, "Hey, did you see this?" And I was like, "No, I didn't. Who is this? Like, I've never seen this person before." And they're just talking <laughs> about like, oh, wait, hold on, wait, where is it? Where is it? Wait, he tweeted hold about on. you kissing more on the E7 anniversary. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, you can hide like the tag if you don't want to like get people. Wait, look look at this. What like what is this? Who is this person? I've literally never seen this person before in my entire life. I, I don't know. Like like I like I've never seen this before. Or I've like never talked to this person, never interacted, and I was like, uh It, it doesn't matter if I show the tag or anything, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's just someone, someone like linked me this, and I was like, okay, I guess. Like, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a. Hey, listen, you, you guys know sometimes you just have to do it for content, all right? And I did not even touch his. I wasn't even close. I was like this. Like there was like this much. There was room for Jesus, all right? In between. <laughs> there was room yeah, for right? what? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, let's settle down, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Emil Pius is going to be good. Back to the, back to the topic real quick. Um, <laughs> she looks like she's going to be a pretty darn good character. It looks like they actually were considering her design, you know, yeah. which, you know, I think that's a big thing. They were really thoughtful, I think, about what they wanted to do. Make a character mm. that's good against Violet, Remnant Violet, and good against counterattacks, right? Yeah. Um, that sounds great to me. It sounds like they actually really were considering all those factors. And also, her S3 has a one turn cooldown if you burn it which means you Ooh. can cleanse and give a barrier to your team every other turn it's kind is of it, like is it 10 souls? a defensive a ross yes it is 10 souls so she sounds kind of like you know how you pick a, a knight with aureus and then also a ross is a supporting one it kind of feels like she's going to be like that but for a more defensive one for tankier teams the mm -hmm. barrier ratio sucks though mm, i actually didn't know that i think a shame. one thing is the runes itself i was looking through the runes right it and she seems to have, like, she's gaining a lot of stuff, whether it's hit mm -hmm. chance, self effect res, resist. yeah, um, effect resist, combat readiness, damage mitigation. Like, her, her runes are, they're actually giving a lot of. Yeah. I was actually really surprised about that. It actually looks really nice for, like, standard players, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, also her base already gives defense buff to your entire team on s2 once she gets hit four times 
Mm-hmm. So mm, right, I forgot about that. Works as like a like a longer sustained sort of unit, like Genesis was talking about, where mm-hmm. you know you you pick her as like an adamant shield holder, maybe with your Aureus, and you're chilling. I'm wondering if you do want adamant on her because you know you can it almost conflicts with her uh, passive. Thing, yeah, right? so I, I think I would just run Aureus or something. Some people are saying like Elbrus because nobody wants to attack her, but then she can like provoke, and then they're forced to attack her for the defense buff too. I don't know if that's actually good. But... That's actually not a Wait, bad oh. idea, to be honest. How come uh, Adamant conflicts? Uh, because uh, her passive because is a damage. damage reduction from the counter attacks. Yeah. So oh. I just wonder if you're picking her mainly for the anti counter attack. Like mm-hmm. I wonder uh, how right. worth it is. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's actually a good thought. Like I didn't think about running Elbrus on her. Initially about like Orius or something but i guess that's true especially because uh wait does her s1 provoke yes yeah. uh, it could actually be pretty good because like if she provokes someone she gets the cr boost when they attack her mm-hmm. when and they're provoked the defense stuff for the team yeah that's actually and disables that's not a bad thought to be honest. would you guys uh imagine yourselves building her with res because she has the rune or yeah some people are saying that maybe they would try the new goad war artifact on her or something too <laughs> but okay. uh, I mean, that's is, mom well, okay Wait, well but... realistically she's technically a cleanser on her s3 in some ways only one debuff but well, that's true that's true if you soul burn it and if you make it so she doesn't get debuffed you can actually just constantly spam that and you know, it's a provoke that's also cleansing a debuff and giving, you know, even if the shield ratio is crappy, it's still giving some defenses to the team. That's actually kind she of true. She has a lot of ways to cut too, right? Because she gets a lot of, doesn't she get CR like a bunch of times? Like for like, mm-hmm. doesn't she just like CR push for like three different reasons? Or whatever? When she like, hits like, somebody with her S3, I think she does. Yeah, when yeah. somebody when... hits her, when she's provoked, she gets CR pushed. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, it sounds like, I don't know. It sounds like she could probably cycle like a fair amount. Like even I think I think she's kind of slow though, isn't she? Like below a hundred or something. She's like yeah. ninety-one base speed, but she gets six from her runes. I think. <laughs> wow, ninety-seven, dab. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost at that one hundo. I, I imagine you speed tune her to go what like a uh, two hundred speed to go after some DPSs, so you can S three. But then you want yeah. souls to to soul burn, so I don't know. I don't know when you S three. Yeah, she might be like I don't know C Armin kind of stats, maybe I don't know. Mm, so like a lot of crimson armaments are ran speed. slow not not insanely fast anymore bulky with yeah okay, i was looking at her damage numbers too and they're pretty ass mm-hmm. uh, unless somebody's hit her like 500 times to build up her passive <laughs> and she has defense buff and they have no defense she is not doing any damage wow her damage is pretty bad <laughs> yeah. are they, uh, they ungeared too jenna jesus <laughs> basically <laughs> at this point apparently her ratios are half of designer lilibet's s1 and think about how hard that's hitting you holy dude i could almost kill a and almost kill a slime with her an ungeared mouse yeah all right dude yeah the mouse is strong okay no cap oh all right kana let us know how the damage testing goes then. yeah it's not okay listen let's just be clear i just oh, i can't wait little, i need a little bit of a mitigator you know sometimes okay you know, you, you'll see, you'll see. You'll okay, see. okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for the MLM, and when it works, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you'll make me eat my words, and then I'll just yes, follow yes, along yes, with yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Yes, yes. Yeah, because nice. you know how some people draft, like, Rem Violet as anti-cleave? Like, I guess yeah, this could be then... okay. I, I don't have... I guess it could yeah. be, like, a defensive, like, slot there for, like, giving, giving your team more mitigation, right? Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, so instead of the A Ravi like S3 damage, you just have like uh, just a, feel, a little sprinkle of damage mitigation. I feel like you'd have to make his team at that point have so many non cleave characters, it's not even cleave anymore. <laughs> okay, that's that's true. Okay, wait, wait. To be fair, my definition of cleave has, has become quite. It's warm. very loose. <laughs> yeah, it is very loose right now. I've used a lot of different cleave units in my cleave. I, uh, I think. I, okay, do you, con- do you consider Steny a cleave unit? I, I, I would don't like a cleaver then yeah yeah okay. as long as you're not cleaving okay as long as you're not cleaving with fallen cecilia crimson armin crow and like mort then i think we're good <laughs> okay, okay but, but i need fcc to be, i need fcc she has okay the definition of cleave has complete change it used to be like rb s3 in you after getting pushed by like oxlots or you know bbk now yeah. cleave yeah. then cleave turned into 
yeah, I kill you before you kill me. <laughs> so really put fast, Please. right? <laughs> even though it's not AoE at all, it doesn't even make any sense. And now Cleave is like, yeah, I picked like two tanks and a Ravi, and I guess you got cleaved or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening oh, more. I detonated some bombs on you. I, I guess you were uh, cleaved. They're that, stunned for two turns. Not even a control <laughs> cop anymore, right? We call that cleave now. Control yeah. is cleave. Cleave. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, Anything else you want to talk about on the rune side kind of thing? Oh, I think I they did a cool job. Maybe I'll be eating my words and she's actually like busted or maybe she's trash, but <laughs> I think uh, she seems kind of cool. The okay. only thing I was kind of cons like that I kind of thought about, she has... Uh, a, like as she takes a turn, she heals herself, right? Like three percent, right? Yes. Isn't that one of her passives. Yes. I was thinking that if her numbers were, uh, look, I don't know where people got the numbers or when or if they are out, but like if she ends up being tanky and she keeps like, like as you say, right, continuing to like soul burn S three, soul burn S three, like heals, provoke, like over and over, and you don't want to hit her, and she keeps Elbrusing or whatever, whatever cheese. I would imagine that she'd be. Like, I was a little bit concerned that she'd be annoying, like, Maid Chloe. You know, like, Maid Chloe, like, sometimes she just oh. doesn't die. She just gets, like, she keeps taking turns, oh. and you're like, uh, like, that's that's what I was thinking she might do. I, it probably like, won't be the same, because they're not healing somebody else. And also, think about it this way. She's provoking. You're still hitting her. It's not Maid Chloe's bonk. That's true. It is, it, that. isn't a, uh, it isn't a, uh, a stun. That's fair enough. Do you guys imagine people moving away from Penset on Violet and Violet to go for immunity again if she can just provoke them pretty easily? Um, the, the thing I... is, even it, it wouldn't really change much because, like, let's say she doesn't provoke you turn one. I mean, Violet isn't really doing much then anyways, right? So then she just provokes you turn two. So Remnant Violet, though, maybe. You know, I could mm. see that, but... Mm. I don't know. I feel like we'll pen to... penetration is too useful for Violet for getting more damage off and healing more and just use her unit. Like I feel like penetration is a little bit too useful for Violet players who a lot. I think a yeah. lot of times recently I've seen a lot of Violet's builds. Mm -hmm. I've seen them run yeah, like speed yeah. crit and they're like fast. Or sorry, speed pen, I guess. And fast. I don't know if penetration matters too much for that, aside from the damage, because most of the time you're nuking like a squishier unit. I guess it helps guarantee it. Her S3 is single target, right? When she hits someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, is my mic yeah. failing? Oops, sorry. No, I, I think yeah, get like, in there. <laughs> just looking at her like kit, she doesn't actually provoke too often. We have the, what, 60, 70% chance? I don't know what the S1 chance is. I think she has a 75% for... chance to hit or something. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. On her S3. And then like 30% oh. or something on S1. Okay. Wait, but S1 says 50 on enhanced. But anyways, I just feel like she's going to oh. be provoking one target and that's it. So she'll just lock down like one evasion unit or whatever DPS. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can still focus her down. She's not too oppressive, I don't think. Yeah. She, <laughs> I, she also has three-star we'll stats. So, yeah, <laughs> I, so, I think she know, seems fair. Something first impression she seems fair and she seems yeah. like a elegant solution to some really annoying problems in the game right now true possibly true 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 uh not too insanely heavy-handed not like belay and just say souls don't work <laughs> they could have given her a rune that says has a 100 percent chance that a counter does not activate no 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 <laughs> it, no yeah. it's the fact that unit cannot evade yeah they could have done that um oh, instead i think boy. they i think it was pretty well designed overall yeah we'll see fair all right uh let me see okay so last thing well not not fully last thing but we can't really talk about this per se everything has a designated order i do want people to just but the, without people exception I, I, I don't know i'll remove you like you never even existed <laughs> i'll feel regret only after everything is done how we don't get 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 Way too how dang. This an, how come this is an ML Ervalin? Sorry, my bad, chat. Nobody cares about Ervalin. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Way too dank. All right. Anyways, we we'll watch it. Whatever. You guys get the. Um. Sorry, I forgot to adjust the volume for that when I. Uh... <laughs> All right, Genazad. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> you... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what demon this guy? <laughs> This guy is one of the frogs, but with extra power. 
<laughs> elevated frog. I'm helping the people. I've infiltrated. Oh my god. Alright, anyways though. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm kind of I, I thought it was gonna be an ML unit. But sounds like people are saying it might be an RGB. So he looks like an ML unit. Yeah. He feels like one, right? Like, he definitely yeah. seems like an ML one. But he's if he's being shown off on the twenty fifth, that doesn't really make much sense, does it? Yeah. Um so now I'm kind of confused. Is he just going to be like a fire unit or something like that? But what if he's also the antagonist of the, the new story? So oh. maybe they're just showing him off and he's not going to come out for a while? Oh, yeah. like so he's going to end up being like Belay. Yeah, maybe. what if he's like that? I mean, he looks... He, he's sick, right? I, he I looks so cool. Like, he's probably the coolest male character in the whole game, I think. His, dude, his voice... Like, his look, his S3 mm -hmm. animation, he's awesome. Dude, his S3 yeah. animation is super, like, satisfying Cinematic. to watch. Yeah, and it's so yeah. nice. It's so cool. Yeah. yeah so I'm pretty, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, that aspect. Wait, have they ever done that? Like, uh, tease, let's say, um, Bellion before her release? No. And then tease they, they it didn't. further? I mean, you gotta keep in mind, it's more recent that they've started doing the, like, endgame bosses as characters, right? And they've been yeah. doing some like kind of new things with them, so I wonder if like they would show him off way ahead of time, um, or something like not exactly his whole skill set, but like kind of talk about him and tease him a little bit. But we'll see. Mm. Right? It, it's just weird because they mm. like. I mean, everyone thought that Bellion was going to be like forever, right? Because you remember like prior mm -hmm. to that, right? Like Archdemon was yeah. how long? Straight, and then they were like, right. "Hey, we showed Bellion like a month ago. <laughs> She's on the banner, <laughs> like in like a month or something. Like I don't know." I don't know why they actually... It goes fast, though, I guess. Like, it definitely goes a little fast. They did say they were going to slow down things, though. Like, oh, by the way, I'm going to open this just open topic. So whatever you guys see in chat or whatever you guys want to talk about, we'll just talk about it. Uh, but yeah, like, they did say they were going to slow things down because recently it's been hectic as hell. Like, double collab, like, summer unit. Like, we literally got, like, swamped and destroyed by units. Yeah, it, it's a shame that we get so many huge floods of units at a time, or just, like, content, right? And then we get some enormous drought where everyone's like, is E7 dead? And, like, all that <laughs> stuff, right? And then it's always ramping up towards the next huge flood of stuff, and, like, someone's like, oh, I want to start this Epic 7 game, let's try this, and they have to pull in, like, 50 banners. Poor Atsu, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Atsu. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, uh... At least we're just slowing down. The, the one thing I am waiting for is the... What is it? Happened? Oh, oh the, the uh, Inheritance? Yeah, Inheritance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ancient Inheritance. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Like, I mean, at least there'll be new content, but... We'll see what happens with that. Dude, can we talk about Advent coming back? Whales Unite? Oh, oh yeah. I forgot Gems, about let's that. Let's go. I know a lot of people right. are probably really excited for oh, that. Oh um, god, thank Jesus, man. I'm so <laughs> done doing Expo. See you later, sucker. <laughs> There's only one thing that I want. Please give us at least like one day of unequip when it comes out. That's mm. all I'm asking for. <laughs> Just one day of unequip. Like that is really not asking for a lot. Wait. That, we have that, to that was one of the like... worst parts about it. We should have a new web like, event for free equip ticket. That, no, Don't I have like what? That's not enough. Oh no, we have a new hunt buff coming. Yep. Oh, Later this God. month, I think on the twenty fifth. Uh, wait, Jenna, don't you have like a billion gold? Don't you have like five hundred million never lowering? Wait, why do you? Do care you think about... I got all that gold by wasting it? Like. <laughs> <years>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm like Mace. I can't even look at my gold. Like I can't. If I didn't re shop refresh, or if I. Hmm. Maybe if I shop refresh, maybe that's where all the gold goes, but I never ever like shop refresh. So, Genesis like, would know I, though. He he had to burn through like what 10k mystic bookmarks just for like three spazzes? Four. <laughs> oh oh sorry, four. Sorry. Uh, it sorry. was twenty thousand no, no. mystics for four. Oh <laughs> shit, sorry, twenty k <laughs> Sorry about that. I it, it was more than I thought. Been, have you been using your spaz? Okay. No, he's trash. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> so okay, here's the thing also. I don't. I refuse to use a few of the characters that are his best enablers. I don't use T. Crosset. I don't use like Basar on Crown or anything like that. So it's kind of a problem of my own making. I, I'm very unlucky here. Uh, mm. that <laughs> unlucky. That, well, you see, I'm unlucky that units that I hate happen to be his best enablers. I don't have made Chloe, oh, I right? I can't bonk somebody. Oh my god. Not to mention, yeah. he's also just bad. 
True. Yeah, yeah, he he's not that good. Maybe? But he's oh, satisfying to use. Oh Summer yeah, he's satisfying. Huh? Oh, oh, Summer Summer Summer. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Nah, screw that unit. Who who would want to use a unit that cucked you four times? <sighs> but also, um, speaking of Advent, did any of you here use Dark Corvus to clear the hardest stage? No. What? No. Wait, what? No. <laughs> why? What is wrong with you? Yeah, what why? Is that Wait, you, you mean from last time? Yeah. No, I just I used all of them before you finished your first run with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. What the because you oh, needed like a rage set cigarette and uh, a lot of good RNG your way. So I've seen some Yoldis at the time just use Dark Corvus to clear it. I use mm. cigarette, but uh, it did take a while. I did mauled for a bit. Oh, I, I didn't I realize I was. Yeah. Advent is cool, but it's also hard as hell. Yeah. So I, 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 get a really working team. If you were going to use like Dark Corvus, though, I feel like, you should, like it was so much easier just to use Operator Cigarette. For that last one. Well, okay, does, like, no, no, okay. That, that, that's if you have oh, Operator hey, Cigarette. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. He said Dark Corvus, okay? Hey, hey. Okay, true, 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 ML thing, all right? We all know Dark Corvus here. Oh, no. Okay, to be fair, though, the new one is Fire, right? So you know who's going to be really good? Luna. Oh, my God. Oh, don't yeah. make me mull that unit, unit please. Dude, wa just watch. She's going to be, like, best in slot for one of them, and I'm... Yo, welcome to the Luna Club. Dude, that's another unit that Aether Bulge and Cat like MLM'd me into mulling. She's not even fully mulled, and I don't use Wait, that unit. Wait, she's anymore. actually so good though. She's good as a cleaver. Yeah. I'll Dude. just pick my ML haste and my. Okay, the scariest All right. cleave for me is when everyone was doing that uh, single attack cleave where they would first pick Watcher Shuri. I couldn't fight against it. <laughs> it was literally like nothing Boy, I could that, do. It actually just killed favorite. me. Like it just nukes time. your team, though. Yeah. Yeah, and it would have yeah. like Luna, and I would be like, okay, so well, she kills two units. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> hell am I supposed to do against this? It was actually like I couldn't beat that team. Have oh, you thought about outspeeding them? Uh, oh, Kana, be the change you want to see in the world. You know, so you All get right. out there and you make Picking a new club. five knights. All right, that's five oh. knights. You're gonna end up being what you call washable. Yo, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> on, on the topic of, of like our beginnings and from like a long time ago, I know we had this conversation like at the start of the stream, but when I first started streaming, one of my actual motivators and why I started liking E7 a lot and the way that I wanted to get competitive was when Light E7 was using Rose and like four knights. And I was like, wow, that is cool as fuck. <laughs> like, attack buff four knights like fcc lrk does like 70 percent of everyone's hp sign me up that that is the cleave that i want and then i proceeded to get none of those units for four months and i was like okay it's time to move on Poor we're gonna naturally even get rose wait that's when you start playing <sighs> yeah I, I saw him not start playing but i saw him like well, that's when you decide like win with that uh yeah, that's when yeah, you yeah, decide yeah. to be a cleaver yeah, like a cleaver, and like that's ah. when I like first DM'd him. I was like, "Hey, I see that you use like Rose and LRK. Do you have like I don't know, like a replacement?" He's like, "There's no replacement to LRK." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> thanks, thanks for giving me advice. I guess I'll just go fuck off now." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's pretty much what happened. What the heck, bro? All right, not, I did not know about that story. What the heck? I didn't know that was Connor's origin story. Yeah, I wanted LRK so bad after. Did you... Do you guys remember when LRK and Osig got announced? Yeah. Osig and oh, yeah, LRK yeah. got like kind of announced at like around the same time, and then oh, yeah. Osig did not come for like three to four months. Yeah, they're top had to model choose. between. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, are you gonna miss LRK? Like, you know, LRK is kind of big, you know." And I was like, "No, fuck this unit, dude. I guarantee you, Operator Cigarette is gonna kill Shields, and she did, but she was not better than LRK." Which was very sad, and I, I kick myself in the fucking oh my god! I kick myself every time I think about like the fact that this unit dominated for so long, and I wanted him so bad. I was like the bike animation; he's got like that what his little his quip, his whatever his like. I'll show you who's I who's, win again. Oh yeah, I win again. I win again. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, you're oh, saying I'm all Ken's, I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> whatever. But you know what I mean. Did you get him yet, though? Oh hell no! I didn't get him. Do you still oh want my him? god! Hell yeah, I do. I'd I'd fit him mm. somehow. I don't Fair know how, with more, right? Him somehow. Well, okay. Well, oh wait, god! Speaking, speaking of these ML fives here, 
ML Selene? Oh, yeah, we can brush on that, actually. Tri yeah. Triple S packed? Triple S packed? Any triple yeah, you S, triple uh, S'ing Selene? Hey, I have the slates. I can do it. Do you? My slates are I'll, called I'll, hey, are called pities. I'll, I'll take the pact. All right. Oh, wait. Yo, you want to sponsor me too then, kind of? What the heck? No. I didn't know you were an oil prince. Oh my god. No, he, he actually has no money. He had to spend uh, yeah. what, $500 oh. today on gift subs. I completely forgot how much a sub was, by the way. I was wait, like, what? dude, 100 Okay, so, so, so. So Atsu, you know, Asian guy stream was playing against Code, you know, yeah, Code yeah, Row yeah. in RTA lobby. And Kana, with his genius wisdom, decides to say, come in and say, if you win this, I will gift a hundred subs. Dude, uh, it's Mr. So CEO Atsu, like, versus. And, and like... so then the stars align, the planets all align, everything. Every possible RNG goes correct. Atsu just hits Remnant Violet like five times in a row and just and kills code and then there's kana like basically just pantsless in front of the whole classroom <laughs> now the spotlight's on him right and Dude. everyone's looking at this guy who just said he was gift 100 subs and they're like well when I saw it, I was like, oh, dude, like, I don't know, you know, 100 subs is like, I, I keep thinking it's like, it's September. I was like, oh, $250, like, oh, you know, I'll probably do like half. <laughs> and then I looked at it. For... Even. No, but I saw, I like oh, looked at yeah. it, like, at the gifting option. I was like, that's 500 fucking dollars, dude. That's a lot of fucking money for like this, like, careless, like, comment. I was, dude, come on. Atsu's literally like, what, 70, maybe like 80 days, 90 days into the game, and he beat Code. And Code had, like, okay, all right, there was, like, a lot of, like, restrictions on that match. Like, Code couldn't use any tanks, couldn't use Crow, <laughs> couldn't target ban, uh, like, couldn't take away, like, what, I think couldn't use the same units or anything, like, any of the units that Atsu had. But I was like, dude, there's no shot. And then, and then his, uh, what is it, his Remnant Violet didn't blind Apoc Ravi, who didn't have Seed or anything, like, three times. And I was like, all right, well... I suppose if I deserve to lose, like I deserve to lose, and then I don't know. La later on, he, like he only oh, gave like twenty subs, though he he only spent a hundred dollars yeah. for his careless mistake. That's why my chat told me you bet on the wrong horse. I did bet on the wrong horse. He, he made a very oh, large mistake. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, what a nice guy, though. Yo, what? Oh, Joe, wait, Joe, Joe Lemens. I'm pretty sure he still, like, maintains the account. Yeah, Code, Code still logs in. He still plays a little bit. And I think somebody yeah, yeah, helps yeah. him maintain his account as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I yeah. saw him in, like, Emperor or something. Either you can't, you can't throw away an account that you spent so much time and effort on, I feel like. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just me, well, though. the thing is, they still like the game. Right? Oh, right, Celine, yeah. sorry. Like, <laughs> they, they don't want to, like, quit or anything. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celine, though, uh, who? <laughs> who? <laughs> Right. No, okay. Uh, Moment maintenance is over, I'm pulling for her. Uh, okay, I mean, I I'm going to try to, but I only have like 3k Mystic. I have 4,000 yeah, now after shop refreshing. I, I have 3k too. Wait, how are you going to... Oh, you, you said you're going to slate her, right? All right. Wait, are you at... Did you pull... Are you, are you are actually going to triple S her? Possibly, we'll see. Oh, how many <laughs> slates? Wait, how many slates? Okay, okay. I have never used a slate. Yeah. Wow. Really? I have like seven or something. Can I tell you the story of how I accidentally used a slate on Straz? Oh, God. Anyways, never mind. I, that, that, never mind. I'm not even going to tell you the story. I just told you. Anyways, yeah, that happens. Oh, my God. That's literally, there's only two oh, characters God. in the games you wouldn't want to use the slate on. <laughs> oh, oh, but wait, wait, three why characters. Aren't we allowed to, why aren't you allowed to lock those, by the way? You're not no, like you, can, you can, you can, you can lock oh, them. Yeah, I have them all locked. Yeah, you can lock oh, them. Okay. I, I just didn't lock mine by accident. You know, things happened and... Oh my god. And you were just god. feeding as many things in, as possible into strays. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Okay, well, okay Pega moments part, though, happen right? though. You could buy an extra copy of thing and just have it sit in your inventory, kind of like a slate. Yeah, but, just to look at, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cool, right? It's like a trophy. That, that's literally just... Uh, do it. I, then I have a permanent slot taken up by something that's useless now. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Okay, so, Selene. Right, right. So, uh, so yeah, Selene. Her, she has, what, 16% crit chance as her imprint. Really good. Her base stats are honestly really good. Her skill set looks like dog water, though. Her multiplier and... is also pretty dog. Oh, yeah, her multipliers. Wait, I looked at wait, her wait, S1. Wait. 
actual trash. <laughs> I don't understand her S1. Wait, like, the, the S1 40% proc was, was really good. You know, you would think 35% defense pen sounds like a lot, right? Mm. It really doesn't do a lot. I was putting in numbers like 3,800 attack and like 280 crit damage. So that means, you know, you're Wait, probably doubles, though. Much tankies, Wait, right? Sure. That doubles? Whatever? That's someone else. What? So 70%. Yes, it does. No, she gets like an enhanced or something. Yeah, she's an she enhanced has an chance to use it. Oh, oh, never. Wait, oh. I was very underwhelmed by the damage. Um, and it just feels like, I mean, people aren't going to be wailing on your Selene that much unless she's the only one left, I guess, right? Oh, yeah. apparently your microphone's still cutting out, by the way. Oh, mine? Ether Bulge um, said that Selene's S1 is apparently the same multiplier as Rylet S3, but it just doesn't have the def pen, the same def pen. Yeah, so it does, like the or the attack S1. buff. So it has nothing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What does Selene give on her? Is it only, um, is it only immortality that she gives on her S3? She cleanses. Oh, she gets possession where every time she is crit, she counterattacks. Mm -mm. No. No. Uh, yeah. But no attack buff, right? There's no scaling for her. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like her kit is very like lackluster. I guess. Mm -hmm. For a good part, but it's not to mention the fact that like with her coming out, like ML Haste stonks just like shoot up again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I, I don't know. Like, like, let me tell you this. Oh, and Rimuru stonks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, Lane gets one shot by Rimuru. Nice yeah. passive. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. So, here's, look, listen to these numbers. Selene with 3,800 attack and 280 crit damage. 2A unit with 1,300 defense and Aureus. Her nimble sword, which is the upgraded S1, does 6,300 damage. Dude, I think that's her that's only fair. damage. Dude, I'm, okay, I'm pretty sure the mouse does more damage than her. He does way more. The mouse pops off. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wait, 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 but but if you're so that's the only thing I ever like. Okay, so w would it be fair to say that like people are? Would you say that you would compare or you're trying to compare like his damage to like a Rylet or her damage to like a Rylet? Not really. No, not exactly. But, but I think of it as a character. You know, think of like Emil Kawana or C Dom. They're characters that only have their S one as their damage ability, and they're like kind of supposed to be a damage dealer. You look at her stats too. <laughs> she's like kind of a damage dealer, and how possession works. But at the same time, they're like a support, and so they feel very confused in some ways. But C Dom hits like a, a truck, right? She hits unbelievably hard. Selene doesn't really do much. If you don't proc that, by the way, three thousand four hundred damage. <laughs> only damage uh... ability. <laughs> With 3,800 attack and 280 crit damage. 3,400 yeah. damage. She doesn't get like... Holy moly. She doesn't get like evasion or anything too, right? No death nope, buff? Nope, no evasion. Uh, she cleanses when she has threes, but if she already has debuffs that prevent her from cleansing, then she can't do that. Uh, her passive is worse than T-Cern's passive. Oh, yeah. It's, she doesn't cleanse or turn invisible. Yeah, it's a pre-buff T-Cern passive yeah. where she can't even like save herself. She just gets Yes. She just screwed. doesn't get killed in one hit, theoretically, unless it's Raymaru. Or carrot Wait, or anybody. Is that, <laughs> does that only proc one time per turn, or is that just once? Where she can't. No, it, it's just like once per turn or whatever, right? But like, mm. that's just not enough. It, yeah, yeah, anyone who hits multiple times or can bypass that stuff with like aftermath damage just kills her. Yeah, we have a lot so, of characters like that, like like Tomoka also like her S one right can just hit twice kind of thing. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's kind of uh, her design in that aspect it and also she's a confused character where you want her to be fast enough to use her s3 so she gets possession and also so that before she dies right mm -hmm. but if she's doing that she doesn't really do any damage and also if your allies are alive that means all they get is immortality for one turn that one then turn. wears off they get no bonuses whatsoever so that means you don't even get the revive so she's losing half of what her s3 even does <laughs> True. so it just it I don't understand how she's supposed to work. It feels like everything is very confused and muddled. And unless you can do some crazy cheese with her S2, which is, um, you know, when people die, she gets souls. And her S1 soul burns to get an extra turn. And also she reduces the cooldown of her S3 every time somebody dies. But so that's unless only you can do some... turn, right? Yeah, yeah she only turn. five yeah. souls. So Unless you can do some crazy cheese thing where you're just spam using S3 and then soul burning S1, I just don't understand how you could use her. I, that doesn't sound like a yeah no yeah I, I i think i'm kind of there with you like she looks good she looks cool but like the skill kit itself definitely feels like it's 
hacking it. Whether it's for like cleave, anti cleave, or even bruiser players. And I don't see a good way. It feels like she's. I was going to try her in a full aggro comp as like a late pick where you pick your whole team, you're going really aggressive, and then you pick her late so that. You know, you're you don't run out of steam as much, where you still can bring your units back and go for another round, pretty much. <laughs> May says, "How do you think they're gonna buff her in one, two months to be OP?" Uh, I think her <laughs> S three should also give attack buff to the whole team and yeah, CR crit push. damage. Yeah, yeah, attack Maybe and crit damage push. buff. There Maybe we go. Maybe in addition to immortality, revive buff, counter buff, evasion. Any any she, of these okay. numbers? The problem with oh, her S two cleanses attack. and can't be stunned, right? Cleanses yeah, yeah. And, and CR pushes. And oh, sorry. Yeah, out. also Ooh, needs that. Yeah, twenty-five percent yeah. health. Ooh, right, I, I, I like the twenty-five percent. That's a good idea. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I honestly think the biggest problem though is that her S three, it does nothing if your whole team's alive. Basically, it yeah. sucks. I, I do kind of agree with that. Like, especially with the with the current case in the meta, having immortality early, and if you give them remedu, it's just like, thanks for the buff, <laughs> bro. Like. You yeah. literally just yoink it from them, and it's just like, oh. To be do fair, it's think, only one turn, but... Do you think it would be... Yeah. Anything would change if it was an unstrippable immortality? It would oh. make it better, but I still think she would be kind of ass in most situations. Yeah. Because I feel like... Like, the way that... Okay, I've been getting my... I've been trying to use BBK a lot, and I've thought about it every day and night. I was like, well, if this thing just didn't get stripped by Rem or Bellion, the second uh, I entered... The if zone, BBK's sure. immortality worked like K-Rons or Berseria's, it would already be better. It's the yeah, fact yeah, that it yeah, starts... Yeah, sure, right, but... That. No. But, like, I, like I, that's, the, that's the thing that always bothered me about, like, like, immortalities that are basically, like, placed, like, before Fatal, before, like, like Fatal Damage. It's that, like, you can just take them off pretty reliably. Like, with basically, like, 90% of the cast right now, right? Like, literally, dude, what is it? Like, 80% of the cast right now strips. Like, every new unit has, like, some way to strip a unit. Like, remove a buff. Like, reduce turn cooldown. So, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, if you, like, honestly, Jenna, do you, do you still think that, like, I know that the day that Milim came out, you were trying or you hit Legend or whatever. Do, do you still feel like she's, like, a decent unit because i i don't know i feel like i, I think struggle. she is a decent unit um i think she is like kisei and top model Luka. you pick her fourth fifth pick and she specifically counters certain types of stuff i think mm -hmm. she works decently well i think she works pretty well in really aggro comps as well um i was often picking someone like uh angel of light and they would pick politis and i would i would just s1 with angel of light and then kill the politis with uh milum because i have like a speed killer mm -hmm. one like 250 speed right and I think she works pretty decent. The thing is, she's not insane, but I think she's a pretty decent character. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I guess, like, yeah. I, I just, I don't like how, like, certain units feel like their identity is just, like, like, the cohesion doesn't, like, yeah. quite feel like it's there. Like, I don't know, I was talking to a few people about it as well. Like, like her S3, like, I feel like when you look at her, like, people, there's people that went into, like, the, hey, I'm going to build her, like, an evasion kind of camp. Yeah. And there's the people that are like, she kind of looks like top model camp. Yeah. But then she it doesn't really feel model. like... Yeah, but it did, but like that's the thing, right? Like, she's... I don't know. It didn't... I, I mean, I guess aside from not needing like a... um Like a... uh Like a skill two or like a whatever. Like, b besides avoiding politis, it felt like... Mm, like, her S3 doesn't sometimes do... Well, I guess if you're killing politis with it, it makes sense. But like... Her damage she, is not amazing. Yeah, you it, can't... It's not enough to kill Landy. I feel like, like, which is what a lot of people. Uh, also uh, unless you're running a right? book to Soulburn to get attack buff, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. chip on Soulburn S1 attack buff and the S3, then you can probably almost kill a land. Sometimes I you once can... didn't kill a landy. And I <laughs> have a full damage one, and I was like, "Wow, that <gasps> kind of trash." After soul burning S1, was was it like a degen landy though? Like it was not even a counter landy. It was just a tanky landy. See, that's. Wait, are we know. talking about BBK now or Milum? Milum. Oh, Milum. 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 Oh, Milum. I actually think Milum's pretty good as a Violet counter. If we just look at her as yeah, a Violet yeah. counter. Yeah, that's, like, that's what we're talking about. Like, I don't think she's a bad unit. Obviously, she's like overshadowed by Rimuru. But she's a good. God, that. <laughs> she's a good unit into certain picks, like you said, Ace. Like, oh, one thing I want to say if you don't kill Violet, you know, yeah, he misses, right? But if mm -hmm. you have her as like a speed killer squishy one, his S3 will do like 7,000 damage on a miss to her. 
<laughs> if it's like a pen set, so it doesn't even matter. Actually, almost just straight up kill her on a miss. Oh, unfortunate. I don't know about that. Yeah, I well, think she relies too heavily on her uh, soul burn. Yeah. For her to be yeah. good. Because, like, if I see the enemy slam Milom after I pick, like, I don't know, Carmen, Landy, I just pick Bellion, and it's almost always a force ban. Because Bellion her S3 is, is not that reliable. Bellion yeah, is that's true. Code. I hate that unit. I think they should actually slightly reduce her damage and give her a free soul burn, like Caesarea. Um, oh, that'd be interesting. oh, the, the her free S1 soul burn. Really hard. Really hard. The free soul needs burn. That extra prep. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea, actually. You like, should free her from using book, and then she yeah. used yeah, against the line. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Slightly reduce the damage, but make it so she can use another artifact and still get Solvern. Okay. All right, her I'm going to leave it here. Kind of like, well, sorry, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Finish it off. I yeah. I was going to say, like, her S2 is kind of like a antithetical to her the rest of her kit because... Like she wants to end Landy's early, and then her S two requires a lot of ramp up. So, mm -hmm. but it, it is satisfying when you can trigger. I was actually, I think, talking about, true. about this, and she's a really confused character. <laughs> artifact yeah. is all about being a bruiser. Yeah, her evasions about being a bruiser, or just survivability in general. And then, yeah, her S two Dragon Buster. But then it's like, okay, well, you want to extinct some units like RB and stuff like that. You want to deal with land. You're not just going to sit around and let Landy wail on you too hard. You kind of want to deal with her. Yeah. The same with mm -hmm. Violet. It, it feels like they have two totally different play styles for her, but she's kind of awkward in them. It's like a little weird the way that they designed her. Yeah. No, I, I kind of agree with that. Like maybe it was a little too flexible. It up. I think they could buff up part of her without the other though like possibly mm. i don't know she gets more focus or stuff like that it will help the bruiser side but not the other one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah as a yeah i don't i mean we've seen limited units been buffed so but i don't know if she'll be one of the first ones to get buffed we'll have to see what happens we're gonna have to wait buff a year C -Syria. Buff C -Syria. <laughs> you have to wait till the cloud comes back around i think yeah true Okay, so all right, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the podcast chat. As always, thank you guys for joining. Feel free, uh, same, same, same order. Kana, Ace, and Genizad. Feel free to plug your uh, your socials so people know where to find you guys. Uh, I am the daytime RTA streamer. Haha, -ha, yay! I it's <laughs> you see at the top. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, is it below? It's oh, it's below. below. Add four. It, Add three A's to the end of my name. Yeah. Mm. Three A's? And... No, no, no. Three A's to the name already. So it's ah, so C-A-N-N-A-A-A-A-A. -A 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 -A. There you ah, go. Ah, okay. There I got you. There you go. See? See, see, see. Listen, there's four main A's because who... Do you want me to try and fight SKTT1 Kana for who gets the Kana name on Twitch? You, you guys want me to... Okay, whatever, guys. But I put yeah, a good emote can... in, in chat for you. What what is this? Oh, okay. All right, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> you guys can. Uh, I'm I'm just basically live in the morning. I I'll climb someday, and uh, we'll 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 see where it goes. But anyways, yes, thank you, Mr. Sky King Gabe, for having me on. Appreciate you joining again. All right, Ace. Yeah. Um. So if you want to check me and my RTA content out, feel free to go to Ace Trainer E7. No extra A's or N's in the name. Um, I usually stream. <laughs> like Ace Trainer. ESD. Yeah, Ace Trainer. Um, yeah, so thanks for having me, Sky King. It was a pleasure. Sorry, when do you stream again? Uh, around 1 p.m. EST. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know what? Honestly, like, Genocide, like, you stream so much, it's like no one... There's like no one who doesn't know you well, at this point. I, well, I'll just say... Uh... I, I appreciate being on. I just like, I don't know. I have fun talking to people. I hope it wasn't too toxic for you. Dude, never. Dude, you think you'd be more toxic than new, bro? <laughs> Dude, I, on one of the live streams once, I, I was like, you know, new always says toxic stuff and, you know, like joking around, right? Yeah. I said stuff back to him and people were like, oh my God. Like, 
what is he saying? I can't believe he's doing this. I was like, what, what do you mean? I was like, that guy right over there does it every stream. What am I doing? What it's because new well, yeah, condition. They were like, oh my God, he's so arrogant or something. I was like, oh, I'm no. joking. The whole point is that I'm not. It's because like, news I'm conditioned chat now that like news brainwashed that, you know, I swear. Oh my God. Do you see what he says about me? Oh, dude, get... Dude, I'm free punching bag whenever whenever <laughs> new has nothing else to say. Are you guys kidding me? He complains about people being mean to him. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait, oh, okay. On the bright side, he still owes you a. True. true. Wait, you yeah. got legend, Connor? I didn't end it, but I tapped it. I, okay, I nice, little, nice, nice, nice. Little screenshot. Actually, what he said was he would have done it all if I just finished higher than him. And you know what? I think he ended like 400 or something. So. Uh... Well, Kana, we take those. you know, one crazy, you, you did, but there's one what? big thing. He has a job and he was like working that day, the last few days, you know, I don't know if he could climb, right? Mm. Seems a little unfair. Listen, nah, I'm nah. not the one that made the bet. I'm not the one that made the bet. I said I would have done the legend. He's like, I'll up the ante. Okay. I don't even think you could end higher than me. And I was like, say no more. Say no more. Uh, Worry not, New. No wonder you guys are best friends. Like both you and New say like the wrong things. Like you on Asu stream <laughs> and then New with like you like man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Oh god. I'm gonna end it here and grab dinner. All right. Goodbye, YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Peace. Adios.